it still be sound, but it's basically it's all got to be with programs. Exactly, it's all got to be with programs. The the big thing is predict what's supposed to go in the spaces. Now it's hard sometimes, so what I advise is just literally write in English what each line is doing at the side. I would write down what I think that line is supposed to do, then at the side of it I'd write what I think that line is supposed to do, and then that would give me an idea about what I think needs to come next. All right. So I've got here, here's what it needs to do, it needs to input two numbers from the user, input, input, cool, so those bits have been ticked off, compare both numbers and output the biggest number, cool, okay, so we've got to compare the numbers, so that means I know I need to do some sort of test, what test do I put here, will it be an if, so I'm comparing the numbers. I'm comparing number one, and I want to compare it with the second number, so num2, because that's my variable name, and that's my two numbers now compared, all right? Now, this is my first criteria here, so if number one is greater than number two, well, I've got to output the bigger, so I basically print, it's hard to write on a mouse, so sorry, I'd print num1 because that's the biggest number, all right? And then for anything else, in other words, if it's not bigger, if number one is not bigger than number two, well, then I'd print num two. Oh, God, that's the worst one yet. That's terrible. That's awful. But you get the idea. So that's how I fill the gap. I figure out what it needs to do. I write down roughly what I think each line should do that I can see, and then that'll give me an idea about what I need to do next. And it's just then about writing it in. And if you're not sure, like we said before, write down what you want it to do in English. Don't worry about Python commands. Don't worry about Python commands. Okay, so I've got a slightly different system to what's on here. So for each, this is a list. So we're working from a list. That's why I've got these little square brackets, the IAAs in this. And we're basically saying, for each number in the count, so my first one, which I'm doing now, and I'm looking for each number within it, I'm then going to make it goal scored equals, n sorry, no goal scored equals no goals count plus one because we want it to change. Otherwise, that value never changes. So our test value will always be equal to zero, which means it will not loop. Uh, it will never, ever break the loop. It will just loop forever. So we need to make sure that we've got that. The last one is usually always in your question paper what you want to print out. And you always want to print out your variable. All right. So always, if it's a print at the end, it's going to be pretty much your variable that's changed. So whatever variable is changing in your program is pretty much always going to be here in the print at the end, because that's usually a gimme, a one to look out for, all right, if you get the variable. But remember, write down what each line you think is happening each line, reading the program what it should do, and then have a guess. And if you're not sure, write it in English and move on to the next one, all right? No problem at all if you're not sure, but try and get like one out of three rather than giving up and saying none out of three. All right.